Hello, Pastor Damien at Cornerstone Chapel. I want to take a few moments out there, dads, to wish you a happy Father's Day. Wow, being a father, not an easy task. I don't care who you talk to, uh, past, present, or in the future. It is a challenging role to fill. And unfortunately, it's one that we see uh, neglected and given up on by so many. And so I want to pray over all of you dads. I know dads come in many shapes, sizes. You might be soon to be a dad. You might be an early in the game dad. You might be a dad over children that aren't necessarily biologically yours. Or maybe you are a seasoned dad and you've watched your kids grow up and, and now they're being parents to their own children. Wherever you are at, we are given a unique role uh, as dads by God. And it's a role that he doesn't... Uh, invite us into and then uh, wish us good luck to go and to figure it out on our own. Now, the Bible instructs us on what it looks like to be a father. Being a dad isn't just simply teaching our children what to do, how to, how to work, how to live, how to be a, 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 an adult, but it's, it's the example that we live in the lives and the sight of our children. And I mean, let's be honest, again, you can, you can talk to your children, you can teach them with your words and your language until you have no breath left in you and you fall down exhausted. And it seems like it goes in one ear and out the other. But think about the things that have impressioned you about uh, parents in your own life. And if you've had a great father figure in your life or not so great, it's often how they lived how they acted, what they did, that impressioned us as children growing into adulthood. And, it's, and so therein lies the, the invitation today with, with the blessing over you as fathers. It's to draw close to God. You know, one of the most incredible images that we have of God is that of a father in the Bible. As a good father, God, God labors for us. God takes care of us. He puts food on our plates, clothing on our, on our bodies, uh, shelter over us. He provides us with so many things. He did that for Israel and the promise that he'll care for us uh, in the New Testament as we walk with him. And it's the same kind of idea that, that seems to be so networked into the fiber of who we are as guys, that we want to work hard to provide for our families. We want to make sure that our children have what they need and sometimes more than what we had growing up. And, and all of those things are good. And we tend to excel in those things. But where fatherhood uh, today tends to shy away is that we, we feel like as long as we work hard to provide those things, that's that's it. We've done our role as a dad, and 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 that's a good piece of the equation. But uh, there's 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 more to it than that, and something far more vital, and something far more precious that you could ever do for your children, more than putting a roof over their head, putting clothes on their back, or food even in their bellies, medicines, the standard of living that you work hard to provide for. While that is good, and can be helpful, it's not the most important thing. I'm going to argue that the most important thing that you can ever do to your children and for your children as a dad through your words and through your example is lead them to Jesus. See, the Bible calls us as dads to be leaders in the homes. And we can't lead our children where we ourselves are not going. I know I, I, in, in your heart, you never want to be that dad that your children look to and say, I don't want to be like him. And I know some of us, we, we've, we've made choices and decisions and exhibited behavior to where we wish we could go back in time and change. But the reality is we can't. But we have a God who can heal, a God who can restore, a God who can mend and breathe new life into. That's the Father that you and I have. So I want to encourage you dads first today, take time to call upon God as your Father. Come to Him. Father, fill me with your Spirit. Give me all that I need to know your love and to make it known and how I live, how I love my spouse, how I love our children. And Lord, I want to lead my children at your feet, to your feet. And, and, and then second, lead them to church. Wherever you're at, if you're local to Pompton Plains, here in the North Jersey area, I want to encourage you to come out. We're 620 State Route 23 North. If you're not local but watching this, I want to encourage you to find a church near you. If you need help, reach out to me. Message me. I will be more than happy, ecstatic to help you find a church. But you need to lead your family to church. You need to lead them into a community of faith. Model the behavior. Working hard is great. The Bible says we're to work and do as unto the Lord. Working hard's a part of it. 
But there's a time to where working hard uh, at a job needs to slow down so that we can work hard at home by helping show our children what it is uh, to be a godly father so that they too would grow up and, and replicate the behavior uh, that they see and that they're, that's shaping their little hearts. And so, fathers, wherever you're at, you're doing a great job. Continue to draw closer to God. Continue to call on his name and continue to allow his love to overflow into your children's lives. I want to pray a blessing over you today, and I look forward to seeing you at church. If not here, at a local church near you, but lead your families today. Take that first step. Come to God yourself. Allow that to overflow in, in leading your family to church this morning. Father God, as we come before you, I thank you, Lord, for all that you are and all that you do in our lives. Lord, I want to ask you to bless all the dads watching this, Lord. I pray that you would pour down a spirit of refreshment upon them, Father. I pray, Lord, that if there's, if there's, if fatherhood hasn't been a, a benchmark in their life, Father, a high point, and there's regrets, Father, I pray that you'd bring healing into those moments and to the dads and the children and the relationship. Father, you are a God who restores. You are a God who breathes new life, who makes all things new. Father, I pray for the dads that are consistent, Father, that are, that are bringing their children to church, Father, that are, that are praying with them and trying to teach them and, and trying to help them know your love, Father, as, as our eternal Father in their own lives. Father, I pray for those dads. Speak blessing. They're doing a great job, Father. Continue to pour a spirit of refreshment in them. And Father, I pray for dads everywhere that this would be a day that they would make the decision to lead their families, whether it's a first step or an ongoing step or getting back into step, but they would lead their children to church, lead their families well to your feet. Father, I pray the sufficiency of the grace that you promise us would be found anchored deeply in the heart of every dad watching this, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, take care, God bless, and happy Father's Day.